What's going on everybody, when Daisy was announced, Nintendo also stated they will be releasing at least two more waves of characters before the end of this year. So what kind of characters are we going to see? Feel free to leave your predictions in the comments below, but I'm going to list a couple of predictions in this video based on a couple of criteria. One and the most important one has the character recently appeared in a Mario Sports title. This is probably the most likelihood of making it to the roster, as Nintendo unfortunately likes to forget characters exist. Two, have they appeared in Mario Strikers specifically? These characters probably have a better chance of getting in than others, but only if there's an overlap. A lot of new characters added like Pauline, Rosalina, and Spike are additions to the franchise that didn't exist when Charged came out. And three, they must have a sidekick that is somewhat related. In Battle League, of course, there are characters that, in normal play, you can have multiple of. These are only characters where, canonically, you can have more than one on the field. Multiple Yoshis, multiple Toads, multiple Shy Guys can exist, but not multiple Marios. Unless you're playing Strikers Club. To satisfy Rule 1, let's take a look at the rosters for the most recent Mario sports games, Mario Tennis Aces and Mario Golf Super Rush. Mario Tennis Aces actually had a massive roster because they added a character every month for 14 months. Really puts into perspective how slow the support is in Strikers. The characters that exist in this game that do not exist in Strikers yet are Toadette, Bowser Jr., Boo, Spike, Chain Chomp, Koopa Troopa, Blooper, Diddy Kong, Birdo, Koopa Paratroopa, Petey Piranha, Luma, Boom Boom, Pauline, Kamek, Dry Bones, Fire Piranha Plant, and Dry Bowser. To add on characters from Mario Golf Super Rush, Charge and Chuck, King bob -omb, Ninji, and Wiggler. As you can see, that is a lot to choose from, so let's narrow down some with the second criteria, did they exist in a previous Mario Strikers? The characters that overlap 1 and 2 are Petey Piranha, Koopa, Boo, Dry Bones, Birdo, Bowser Jr., and Diddy Kong. I'll also throw in Hammer Bro because he's been in both Strikers games, just not any recent games. I will, however, ignore Monty Mole because I don't think he has as much of a chance. And let's not forget Criteria 3, which will be, are they related to a character that can be considered a sidekick? After all, Daisy and Shy Guy were pretty closely related. With the total character pool filled out, let's go ahead and name some possible combos that can come in Waves 2 and 3 throughout the rest of the year. The first and possibly most likely, I think, will be Bowser Jr. and Hammer Bro. Bowser Jr. can actually have two very different design directions based on if he's in the clown car or not. With both sets, I predict he's going to be a speedy defender type like Waluigi. Hammer Bro is the partner I predict here because even though he hasn't been in any recent sports games, he's still a recognizable face in the franchise and has been in every striker so far. BJR could also be paired with Koopa, Spike, Boo, and Dry Bones, but I think Hammer Bro makes the most sense. Second, and also very likely, is PB Piranha and Charge and Chuck. Charge and Chuck being included in a sports game at all was whack in Mario Golf, and I still think it's likely and would be awesome to see as a sidekick in Strikers. Also think about it, there is a shooter sidekick with Yoshi, a fast sidekick with Toad, and an all-around sidekick with Shy Guy. The only hole missing is a strength character, and Charge and Chuck would fill the role perfectly. Petey is kind of a no-brainer, he's been in the recent games and also is a seasoned veteran to Mario Sports in general, so adding him as an additional strength character would be nice. Maybe he will even have 18 strength to tip the balance of no gear tournaments. Petey could also be paired with Boo, Spike, or Birdo, and I will be fine with that. Another combo would be Pauline and Ninji. There's no secret that Nintendo likes to stick Pauline as the Switch generation's new princess or mayor or whatever, so adding Pauline would be very likely at some point. The sidekick is really hard for her because she doesn't really appear in many games other than Odyssey in a meaningful capacity. Ninji just makes sense here as one of the other newer characters that can be matched, but I can also see Luma filling the sidekick role as well. Plus, if you're also counting new stadiums, a new Donk theme would go pretty hard. Maybe you can even have a tuxedo-style gear option. If they want to go cliche, they can always add Dry Bowser and Dry Bones. Dry Bowser is usually found alongside Bowser in a game even though they pretty much share all of their stats, and it would be a shoe in for Dry Bones in the game. There's not really another sidekick I would match with Dry Bowser if this is the case. And my last combo would be Diddy Kong and Koopa. These two usually are seen together and they can both fit a nice all-around role. Pretty much impossible to predict how they will balance the stats because they've proven to not follow precedence in this game at all, looking at you slow Yoshi, so I'm not going to even bother. But Diddy Kong making it alongside Donkey Kong would just make sense. Those are all my meaningful predictions on characters, I'll be on the lookout for any more news from Nintendo regarding waves, all I hope for is that the next one comes before Splatoon 3 because if it doesn't I might 
not have time to check it out. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.